Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be taking another look at the Pinebook Pro, but this time I'll be running Manjaro XFCE Edition. And once again, I'm going to be taking a look at whether the Pinebook Pro can be used as a daily driver, whether you're an average user or even if you're a content creator and need to do some video editing. We'll see if the Pinebook Pro is right for you. Let's take a look. If you like my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, Peertube, and you can follow me on Odyssey. So here we are in Manjaro ARM for the Pinebook Pro. The very first thing you'll notice is that by default, it does start you with the dark theme. So that's nice. I think it's a, a nice theme overall here. They even got a nice wallpaper here. But as you can see here, I'm about to switch it up here. So if I go to desktop settings, I'm going to add my own picture here. I think it's a nice wallpaper I made. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So the very first things I'll test is LibreOffice. That actually wasn't too bad considering it was the first time I loaded it in this session here. So I'm going to do some typing. So yeah, overall, it doesn't appear to be any issues. Yeah, you can notice a few things. It's not completely smooth when you minimize and maximize Windows here, especially a program, a heavier program like LibreOffice. But I think it's good enough and still very usable. Overall, this should give you a solid experience if you're like a college student writing essays and don't have access to something like Microsoft Office. If you click on web browser here, it'll just load Firefox. And I just updated everything um, as of today. So I'm curious which version of Firefox this is running here. Looks like it's Firefox 83, interesting. So of course the big test with these devices is whether watching videos on YouTube is smooth or not. In the past, with the default Pinebook Pro OS and with the Raspberry Pi 4, my experience watching videos has been usable. Not necessarily the smoothest, but still usable. Still, I think anyone should be able to get by. It's making phone calls and sending and receiving. The recording doesn't do it quite justice. It's a lot smoother than it looks like here, but even without the recording, there is some noticeable lag, but you know, it's just, again, it's not smooth, but it's still usable. So let me see how it sounds if I switch it to 720p here, if it's a lot smoother. And I'm gonna be testing the experience, phone calls and sending and receiving text messages. I'm going to install X264FI as it's recommended by a lot of people that will hopefully make loading and watching videos on YouTube a lot smoother. All right, so let's try that again. Once I load in, I guess once I give it enough time, it looks like it does start to be a lot smoother. It's sadly not noticeable in the recording, but here's some footage of me capturing it live. And that way you can take a look at the sound of the actual Pinebook Pro itself as well. The Pine phone, once again with the Ubuntu Touch, and I'm gonna to be testing the experience making phone calls and sending and receiving text messages. So let's take a look. The sound on the Pinebook Pro is actually decent. It's actually comparable to my $600 laptop that I got a few years ago. X264 if I did help a little bit once I let the videos kind of load for a while then it seems to get a lot smoother that's a good sign all right so now I'm going to do some basic video editing downloaded OBS but I actually don't expect it to work let's give it a shot yep still get the same error message OBS is just not supported on the Pinebook Pro or on ARM devices yet Thankfully, we've got simple screen recorder here. And I just want to record a very simple basic recording here. 
maybe me just playing around with the window here to get a few seconds of footage. And let's actually try to play it with the MPV here. It looks like it's playing. Now I'm gonna open Caden Live here. Caden Live always has been able to start and work pretty good. I'm gonna split the video here. And then I'm gonna add an effect. I usually go for a basic wipe here with the cloud transition. Looks like it did show it in the preview, but let's see how It'll actually show. We'll do full quality here. I'm just gonna leave it as untitled. All right, so that is done here. Now I'm gonna go see if I could play the video. So it looks like it did load the effect. I think it might be an issue with the software or just it being ARM, but it didn't like display clearly. So that's interesting. But overall, you know, you can do the basics, you know, cutting, trimming videos. So that's pretty good if you're just doing some basic video editing. I probably wouldn't be able to switch to it full time if I can't use some of the effects, but you could still get by with it even as a content creator. So there you have it. Looks like the Pinebook Pro could be used as a daily driver if all you need is a basic web browser and need to use the Office Suite like LibreOffice. When it comes to browsing on the web, although it's not smooth, it's still very much usable. And I feel like most people can get by with it, especially at the price point. What has me really excited for the Pinebook Pro is not just the present, but especially the future. There's many different OSs coming out for it, like Elementary OS is working on their own Pinebook Pro version. I am excited for potentially a future updated version of the Pinebook Pro, maybe this time with a better CPU, whether Pine64 themselves did it or another company or organization, is to take the CPU of the Pinebook Pro and build around it. Maybe they can have a, a much more premium version of the Pinebook Pro, maybe something with a better display and um, you know more power and ma maybe a better battery, which I feel like it would be a very competitive um, offering so let me know what you think do you like the potential of the pinebook pro do you think it's a good daily driver now let me know in the comments below and if you like my content don't forget to like share subscribe and i will see you all next time